So welcome back everyone. Now the registry editor on Windows 10 and 11 is one of the best tool to create certain modification for enhancing the UI and the functionalities of Windows 11. So I will be sharing 10 best registry tweak here and if you know them probably you will avoid many kind of third party tool. So without any delay let's quickly get started. So in order to bring up the registry editor you will have to click on your Windows search type registry. Click on registry editor. Click on yes and the registry editor will be up now before proceeding with the tweak i would recommend you that kindly take the backup of the registry or create a restore point so if you want to take the backup of the registry click on file click on export choose the location give a name and then you can click on save and if you want to create a restore point click on your Windows search type create click on create a restore point here at the bottom you will have to click on create and you can give the name here like registry tweak and click on create now it will take about few seconds only and it will create a restore point now what will happen in case if you make any mistake while applying the changes while applying the tweak then you can again come back to the same page and click on system restore click choose a different restore point click on next and your restore point will be displayed here you can simply select it click next and finish and it will start restoring the computer back to that particular date when you created a restore point. So now here in the first tweak, we will be disabling the weather and the news icon in the taskbar. So both on Windows 10 and 11, you will find the weather and the news icon that looks very annoying to majority of the people. And if you don't like it, then you can simply disable it. So what you will have to do here in the registry editor from the left in menu option, you need to double click on H key local machine. Then look for software, double click on it. And in the software, you have to look for policies. So come to the P section and here you'll find the policies. Make a double click on it again. In the policies, you have to look for Microsoft. Make a double click on it again. And in the Microsoft folder here, make a right click for up to new. Click on key and you need to rename this key as DSH. D will be in the capital SH. Once you have renamed, select the folder of DSH. Then on the right hand side, make a right click over up to new, choose door 32 bit value and rename it as allow with the E capital news with an N capital and with the A capital interest with the I capital. All right. So you have to type exactly as I typed here, then make a double click on it and change its value data to zero only click on. Okay. Now, once you are done, in order to apply the changes, either you can go ahead and restart the computer or you can make a right click on the windows icon, go to task manager, bring up the file explorer once, then look for a windows explorer here, right click on it and click on restart. Now once you click on restart, the changes will be applied and you will find that the weather and the news icon has been disappeared from the taskbar. And now next we can enable the verbose mode. Now this mode is designed for those who love tinkering and the troubleshooting. The verbose mode on Windows 11 displayed dynamic information on the PC status during the startup and the shutdown. So again for that you have to come to the registry editor. And here from the left hand side you have to make a double click on HK local machine. Look for software. Double click on it. Then look for Microsoft in the AMP section. Make a double click on it. And in the Microsoft you have to look for the Windows folder. So come to the W section. Look for Windows. Make a double click on it. And in the windows, you have to look for current version. Double click on it again. Then you have to look for policies. So scroll down to the P section. Once you get it, make a double click on it again. And in the policies, you have to look for system. Click on this system folder once. Then on the right hand side, you will have to make a right click over up to new. Choose door 32 bit value. And you have to rename it as verbose mode. Then type is status. So verbose is status that exactly you have to type and everything will be in the lower case. So once you have created, make a double click on it and change its value data from zero to one. Now click on OK. So once you have created this key, now you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and the verbose mode will be activated. So now in the next week, we will be reducing the resources allocation to background task. So Windows 11 divert most resources to resource intensive tasks and it leave a small percentage of CPU core, memory and the storage 
and other spec available for the background task. So the default value assigned to it is around 20% which shouldn't be an issue for most of the user. But if you are on a low end PC or an old device, it might be a good idea to turn off this value down to a notch to get extra frame while gaming. So again from the left hand menu option you will have to click on HQ local machine. Then you have to look for the software, make a double click on it. And here in the software you have to look for the Microsoft folder. So come to the M section, make a double click on the Microsoft. Then in the Microsoft you have to look for Windows NT. Once you get it, again make a double click on it. Then you have to double click on current version. And in the current version you have to look for the multimedia. So come to the M section and you will find somewhere multimedia. Here it is. Again make a double click on it. Then double click on system profile. Now once you click on system profile on the right hand side, you will find the system responsiveness. So if you double click on it, it might be selected to 20, 18 or any other value. Now what we have to do here, we have to reduce this to 10. Once you are done, now you can click on OK. And you are all done. Now it will be occupying the less background resources. Now in the next registry tweak guys, you can fast the shutdown process. So when you click on the shutdown option on Windows 11, the OS send a request to the pending processes to wrap things before it forcibly terminate them. This is usually defined by the wait to kill service timeout inside the registry editor. And by default, it's been set to 5 seconds and you can reduce it to 2 seconds to decrease the shutdown time. So again, make a double click on the HK local machine. Then you have to look for system, make a double click on it. And in the system, you have to look for current control set, make a double click on it again. Then look for control. And here on the right hand side, you will find a string value by the name wait to kill service timeout. And it should be selected to 5000. Make a double click on it and change the value data to 2000 instead of 5000. So what will happen? Now the forced shutdown time will be increased and the computer will be now shutting down much faster. So once you are done, click on OK. And now in the next few guys, you can restore the Windows 10 context menu. So if you are on Windows 11 and you really don't like the new context menu here, like this one, and you want to restore it back to the Windows 10 one, then for that what you have to do? From the left hand menu option here, double click on HK current user, then look for the software here make a double click on it and in the software you have to look for classes so come to the c section here it is make a double click on it and in the classes you will find multiple entries you have to look for the one by the name cls id so scroll down until you find the key by the name cls id so once you get the cls id make a right click on it hover up to new click on key and this key you have to rename it with the path that you will be getting in the description. Simply copy and paste it. Once paste it, it will be displayed here. Again make a right click on this key. Or up to new. Click on key again. And this one you have to rename it as in proc server 32. Alright, so you have to type exactly where I will be in the capital and server S will be in the capital. So once you have created this key, on the right hand side you will find the default value make a double click on it and assure that nothing is there in the value data box make it empty and click on ok now in order to apply the changes make a right click on the windows icon open the task manager look for the windows explorer click on restart and once it get restarted now the next time when you make a right click on your desktop so you will find the old context menu over here even if you right click on any of the application, you will find the old context menu here. Very simple to apply. And next we will be adding the custom application to the context menu. So basically when you right click on the desktop, you find all these default feature like open in terminal, new display setting. But if you want to add some extra application here so that you can quickly access it, then you can do that through the registry tweak. So what you have to do? From the left hand menu option, you have to look for HK classes root. Make a double click on it. And here you have to look for a folder by the name directory. So come to the D section and look for directory. And once you get it, make a double click on it. Then you have to look for the background folder. Make a double click on it. Then you will find the shell folder here. Now here make a right click. Hover up to new. Click on key. 
Now here you have to type the name of that application that you want to add. Now for example, this can be anything like Google Chrome, any kind of browser, any kind of Windows feature. So I will add Notepad as an example here. So I will type Notepad. Now once you have created, on the right hand side you have to make a right click on the blank space over up to new and choose here a string value. And this you have to rename it as icon. Now make a double click on it. And in the value data here, you have to give the path of this particular application that you have added. So in order to find out the path, what you can do for the notepad, you can bring up the file explorer. Go to local disk C. Then you have to look for the windows folder. Make a double click on it. And in the windows, you have to look for the notepad. Now once you get it, make a right click on it and click on copy as path. Now instead of the notepad, if you want to add any other application which is displayed here, you can copy that particular path. Okay, so once you have copied the path, paste here in the value data and click on OK. Now after applying this, again you have to go ahead and restart the computer or you can also restart the file explorer. So let me quickly restart the file explorer here. And once it restarted, now this time if I make a right click on the desktop, so you will find the notepad has been added in the context menu. So similarly, you can add many other kind of application, whichever you wish to. Now, if you need a detailed video on this topic, let me know in the comment section that how to exactly many other application here. All right, now let's move with the next tweak where we will be disabling the network throttling. So Windows 11 has another limiter on the network side. While the network throttling parameter on Windows 11 doesn't typically affect daily usage, it can cause some issues for tasks that require minimal latency and the high internet speed. So again for that what you can do, from the left hand menu option you can double click on HK local machine. Then you have to look for the software here, make a double click on it. Then you have to look for Microsoft. So come to the M section, you will find Microsoft, make a double click on it. And in the Microsoft you have to look for Windows NT. So come to the W section, you will find the Windows NT. Again, make a double click on it, then double click on current version, then look for multimedia, double click on it and then click on system profile. So once you find the system profile on the right hand side, you will find network throttling index, make a double click on it and change its value data to eight time F. So type F, 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 four time, again type four time more, So it will be eight time F here. Okay. Then you will have to click on OK. And again, the changes will be applied once you restart the computer. And similarly, you can also disable the power throttling. And power throttling is a feature built into the windows that lower the CPU energy consumption. So besides increasing the battery life of your system, it can also lead to a reduction in the idle times of the processor. Unfortunately, this setting can reduce the performance of your PC in certain scenarios. So what you can do? Double click on HK local machine again. Then you have to look for the system. Make a double click on it. In the system, you have to look for current control set. Double click on it. Then click on control. And in the control, you have to look for the power. Once you get the power folder, right click on it. Hold up to new. Click on key. And this you have to rename it as power throttling. Where P will be in the capital and T will be capital in the throttling. Now, once you have created, now on the right hand side, make a right click here, hold up to new, choose dot 32 bit value and rename it as power with the P capital, throttling with the T capital, off with the O capital. Once created, make a double click on it and change its value data from zero to one. Click on okay. And the power throttling has been turned off. And now let's move with the next tweak where you can get rid of the Bing suggestion from the start menu. So when you click on your windows icon and here in the start menu, many people get the Bing suggestion that really feel annoying to majority of the people. And if you want to get rid of it, what you will have to do from the registry editor, from the left hand menu option, you will have to make a double click on H key current user. Then look for the software here, make a double click on it. And in the software, you have to look for a folder by the name policies. So come to the P section make a double click on it then look for the microsoft make a double click on it then look for windows make a double click on it now make a right click on the windows here hover up to new click on key and rename it as explorer and then select the explorer folder 
And now on the right hand side, make a right click, hover up to new, choose dot 32 bit value. And this you have to rename it as disable with the D capital, search with the S capital, box with the B capital, suggestions with the S capital. So once you have created, I can make a double click and change the value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. Now next when you restart the computer, you will find that the Bing search suggestion has been removed from the start menu. So very useful tweak guys, you can apply this tweak if you really don't like the Bing suggestions. And now let's move with the last tweak guys where you can disable the Microsoft Copilot from your Windows 11 very easily using the registry tweak. So again make a double click on HK current user and then you have to look for software. Make a double click on it. In the software again you have to come to the P section that is policies. In the policies come to the Microsoft. Then you have to look for the Windows same location like we did in the last tweak again make a right click on the windows hover up to new click on key and rename it as windows with a w capital copilot with c capital once you have created select it then on the right hand side right click hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value and rename it as turn off with the t capital of o capital windows w capital copilot c capital once you have created make a double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 1 click on ok and now the next time when you restart the computer you will find that the copilot has been disabled from your windows 11. so these were the best 10 tweaks guys for the registry editor that you can apply in order to change the ui and do many kind of customization so hopefully guys you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section that which tweak you like the most and if you need more related videos let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye